Right. We're going to start off with Mexico and Sweden. Then we're going to go to the biggest shock in the World Cup so far. Well, I say that. I, I don't think it's a shock. Um, but anyway, we'll start off with Mexico and Sweden. Mexico just... Mexico now, Sweden 3. I'm not going to waste my time on this one because I've got, I've got, I want, I'll quickly go over this one because, as I said, I don't know many of the Swedish players, don't know Swedish players' names, hence why I'd rather move on. But Mexico just weren't in it. They just weren't in it. This was an open group. Anybody could have really go through. Um, Sweden, Sweden just played. Mexico off the park, they really did. Despite the fact that Mexico just pushed them, pushed them and pushed them, piling the pressure on, piling the pressure on, well, trying to do that. Sweden just won for budging, and Mexico just crumbled, they really did. Sweden just dominated them, played them all over the park, played them all over the park with possession, doing the flanks in midfield, final thub, man mark attacking, defending possession, and whatnot, everything really. Sweden just absolutely dominated them. Uh, Jaime Rod I keep getting them mixed up. Uh, Chicharito Hernandez. Poor. Lozano. Poor. Vila. Poor. In fact, I can't exactly... I, I'm not going to single these for you as the poorest players. I really can't because every single Mexico player wasn't very good. <coughs> um, but you've got to give Mexico credit. You really do. <laughs> Uh, beating Germany 1 0. Beating. Was it Korea or Japan? Beating them 2 1. Aye, 2 1. So, really. But the weird one is, even though there were 6 points, it was an open table and it all came in at really. Germany needing to win and goal difference. That's the weird one. But Mexico and Sweden both through. Congratulations to both of them. Mexico deserve to go through. They really do. They, they play their hearts out. And you can see how much it meant to them at the end of the game. When they heard when they heard about the other score, which I'm gonna go into imminently. You could see the passion that Mexico had and you can see how much it meant to them. Which brings me now <coughs> to the next game. <coughs> South, well, we could say that. South Korea to Germany. Germany. The World Cup holders. Nil. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Germany are out of the World Cup. They have crashed out in the group stages. The Champions Curse continues. They win the previous World Cup. And then the next one, they go out the group stages. The Champions Curse does indeed continue. Um, Germany were just... First half, Korea dominated them. Korea were all over them like a, sort, like a, like a rash. They really were. And that's not take, that, don't take that as a bad way. That's a good thing. Going all over Germany. This is not the same Germany in for the past decade or so. This isn't the same Germany. This Germany team is so poor. Uh, fantastic goal. Fantastic goal, fantastic header, which we thought was offside. But it turned out that uh, it was either Tony Cruz. Was it Tony Cruz? It may have been. Um, it turned out it was a Germany defender that ended up passing the ball to him and basically get sl slipped him through and gave him an opportunity to go 1 0 up. Now, that is a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a mistake you wouldn't associate with Germany. Uh, so, good goal, good header. Um, the second goal, what was Manuel Neuer thinking? Hyung Min's son, I believe it was. Now that that is why Son Son plays for Tottenham Hotspur. He knows how to 
press, he does know how to press. And the fact that he pressed Neuer to make a mistake like that just shows you what kind of player he is. So Hyungman's son uh, fires towards the ball. Um, Neuer comes out like, like he is the world best sweeper keeper. Or so we thought. Uh, he comes out. Uh, I don't know what Neuer was thinking. And Son basically just had a, oh, an empty net to, to shoot for. He took the opportunity, shot for the empty net, and made it 2 0. Right at the net, right to the end. So, Korea causing upset. Germany go, are humiliated, crashing out. Um, you know what? Germany deserve to go out. They've been absolutely poor. Losing 1 0 to Mexico, uh, beating Sweden 2 1. All those uh, Germany literally edged that game. They edged it, um, and losing two 0 to Korea. All I can say is this: Joachim Love. The fact that he did, I think this is just going to be a if and but. But let's just be honest with you: if Leroy Sani was in this side, he brings pace down the flanks. He really does. He brings pace down the flanks. The fact that he didn't get into the German squad is an absolute farce. I don't care about his form. He sh I don't care who's about his form. He won the Premier League with Manchester City. Leroy Sani should have been in that Germany squad. He would have probably bought a full load of difference. But he wasn't. Joachim Love decided to go with experience. Slow play, lethargic play, possession play, a lot luster, and look what they've done to them. Puts them out early and ba basically embarrasses the country. Um, so, well done, South Korea, well, the Korean Republic. Um, you've embarrassed Germany, you've literally made an absolute mockery of them by beating them easily. In fact, it was even funnier. Germany had chance after chance after chance. They couldn't find the back of the net. Um, they leave with four points. No, wait till I. Three points. What, just the one against Sweden. And one goal to their name. If that's not embarrassing, I don't know what is. All I can say is this. The German, Federa the German Federation... I hope they take a look. I hope they were watching carefully. Because, as far as I'm aware, Joachim Love, his days are numbered. And it is just a matter of time before Joachim Love is no longer the manager of the German national team.